And I owe this guy a huge apology. Cody Rose is on line one, and he's been holding uh, on the Oak Restaurant hotline. Uh, Cody, I apologize. I, you rolled off my screen here when I got the note from the production room. I hope you're still with me, my friend. Dennis, I am, and uh, don't worry about the apology, man. After that game with Hardin County, I think it's the first time that I'm probably more tired than the players. I mean, it was just one of it was one of those games to where it just you felt like you were about to lose it at the end, but Lawrence County was able to squeak out the 16, uh, 13 victory. And I'm telling you what, that quarterback for Hardin County, uh, he ran together about 250 plus yards of offense with his arm and his legs. I think it's the first time in high school football that I've seen a quarterback rush for 20 carries and then throw the ball over 20 times in a game. It was just unbelievable. We're talking to Cody Rose. He's the play-by-play voice for the Lawrence County Wildcats on WDXE uh, in Lawrenceburg. Dennis Weaver, Josh Peterson with you. Cody, I don't know that you've uh, had a chance to talk to to Josh. uh, uh, Let's let Josh in here to talk to you a little bit here. Hey, Cody. I'm glad you could uh, join us this afternoon. 16-13, it was a couple of tough losses for uh, for Lawrence County to open the year, they had the real tight one with Columbia back in week zero, and uh, a tough one, uh, a tough opponent last week with Giles County. How big was that? Uh, they step out of district play for a couple of weeks to to get that one over Hardin County tonight uh, for their mentality moving forward. They're out of district again next week before they get back into it against uh, Coffee County in a couple of weeks. Well, I'm telling you, it, it was big because you know that Columbia Central loss. They, they led for the entire game except the final 40 seconds. And then tonight, with Hardin County getting the ball back with a chance to drive downfield to win the football game, you know, that loss to Columbia Central was kind of in the back of your head like, you know, oh, no, this can't be happening again. Uh, but the defense, which played really well tonight, picked up a big turnover, a fumble uh, that, that Cal Gobble put on the turf with about 43 seconds to go. The Wildcats were able to prevail. Uh, we talked in our broadcast in the pregame show that that was kind of like a must-win for them uh, it, you know, if they wanted to have a good chance of making the playoffs, and Coach David Marson was really excited about his effort. And you know, they've got a couple of games coming here, uh, coming up. You know, uh, you know, before Coffee County, that's winnable for them to get back. You know, uh, looking good for the playoffs. All right, Cody, we appreciate it as always. Who you guys got next week? I'm all, I'm on a different page on my computer here. Uh, well, it's the intra uh, county rivalry between Lawrence County and Loretto. It's always a nasty matchup, but uh, Lawrence County's uh, kind of, you know, had uh, uh, the good side of the rivalry for, you know, over the last 10 years anyway. So it ought to be a pretty good game next week with uh, Lawrence County and Loretto. All right, Cody, good luck. We'll talk to you next week, my friend. All right, thank you very much. All yeah, right. That is Cody Rose. He is the most patient man on the face of the earth. He held for a long time, and and gosh, I hate that I left him like that. 